Hello everyone. Welcome to the new video. Today we will discuss what is the lack of efficacy cases in pharmacovigilance. So let's start. First we will discuss the definition of lack of efficacy. Lack of efficacy is defined as lack of expected or desired effect related to medicinal products. In simple language, lack of efficacy is defined as lack of anticipated clinical benefits of the medicinal products. Let's take one example to understand this definition. If we receive a safety report stating, patient took one medicine for the treatment of joint pen. However, after taking medication, joint pen not improved. In this scenario, this report is considered as lack of efficacy report. I have covered what is safety report in my previous videos. You can watch that video by clicking on I button. Generally in pharmacovigilance. Reports of lack of efficacy or lack of effect should be recorded a database and followed up if incomplete. All lack of efficacy reports not normally reportable to regulatory authority but should be discussed in periodic safety update reports as applicable. We will discuss what is periodic safety update reports in separate video. There are few exceptional conditions where lack of efficacy reports should be mandatory to report to regulatory authority. For example, lack of efficacy of drug while used in critical condition. Lack of efficacy of drug use for the treatment of life-threatening disease. Vaccination failure reports. And contraceptive failure reports. In all this scenario, it's mandatory for manufacturer pharmaceutical company of drug to report such lack of efficacy cases to regulatory authority. Such reports were considered as serious and reportable to regulatory authority. We have exception for this as well. If report fall under all criteria of reportable condition what we have discussed just now. In few scenarios, all these reports also treated as not reportable to regulatory authority. If reporter clearly stated that the outcome was due to disease progression or if reporter clearly stated that the event is not related to the drug. In both the scenarios, case is considered as serious, but was not reportable to regulatory authority. Let's take one example to understand this concept in detail. If patient received drug X to treat the critical condition pneumonia and after taking drug patient died. So based on this information we can report this case to regulatory authority. But if reporter clearly stated that patient died due to the progression of underlying cancer. In this case, such lack of efficacy report is treated as not reportable to regulatory authority. Or, if reporter clearly stated that patient died due to another cause which is not related to drug X. In this case as well, such lack of efficacy report is treated as not reportable to regulatory authority. I hope till now you have understand what is lack of efficacy reports in pharmacovigilance. And when lack of efficacy reports become reportable to regulatory authority. Final summary of all discussion till now is All reports received from post-marketing sources or clinical trial sources with the event of lack of efficacy of drug should be database in safety database. Safety database generally used are Argus, Aris G, Rave, Spectre, etc. If lack of efficacy report is identified as reportable to regulatory authority, it should be reported within 15 days time frame irrespective of seriousness and if lack of efficacy report is identified as not reportable to regulatory authority it should be used in the preparation of periodic safety update reports there are few exception to report clinical trial reports of lack of efficacy to regulatory authority if we receive clinical trial reports of lack of efficacy along with any serious adverse event caused due to lack of efficacy of drug only in such scenario, we consider this case as reportable and should submit the case to regulatory authority. Based on this we can conclude that clinical trial reports with only event lack of efficacy of drug considered as not reportable to regulatory authority. Non-reportable cases from clinical trial should be used in the preparation of development safety update reports. Also called as DSUR. We will discuss what development safety update reports in separate video. Now let's discuss. How to determine seriousness of lack of efficacy cases? First criteria is Report of lack of efficacy is always non-serious unless clearly specified by reporter as serious. Another scenarios we have discussed earlier. 
All reports from contraceptive failure, reports of vaccination failure, and lack of efficacy of any drug in critical or life-threatening condition. All such reports should be considered as serious. Now let's discuss when to quote lack of efficacy as an event in the case. First scenario is if reporter clearly report event as lack of efficacy, then we should quote lack of efficacy as an event in safety database. Second scenario is if lack of efficacy not reported by the reporter. However, as per medical judgment, medical reviewer of the case can capture lack of efficacy as event. Now let's discuss how to quote lack of efficacy event. Let's consider one scenario to understand this. If patient took medication for the treatment of back pain and the only event reported was the drug was not effective. In such scenario we only quote the event lack of drug effect. Another scenario is if patient took medication for back pain but it was explicitly mentioned that back pain was persisted after taking drug. In such scenario we quote two event. First is back pain which is the indication of drug. And second is lack of drug effect. I hope now it's clear to you all what is lack of drug effect reports in pharmacovigilance. If you found this information helpful, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. It will motivate me to create more such videos. Thank you.